Uh, we also had some uh, comments on YouTube too. Um, at NPC86 uh, said, love the chat we had with uh, Justin and Trevor at Apollo Automation uh, and was looking for some ways to get smoke detectors in Home Assistant. Uh, Brandon from Home, uh, from Apollo Automation suggested a Zen 55 from Zeus to listen to the wired interconnect wire. Uh, do you have another option? Let us know in the comments. That like That is pretty cool. Yeah, I would, I've seen, so I tried to get, there was a device here down under, um, it was like a Z-Wave module that would yeah. listen for the high frequency tone of an alarm. So you smoke detector, right? Yeah. It makes that really high beep, beep, beep. Mm -hmm. It was actually a device listening for that on that specific tone or you know, around that, you know, any high volume alarm. Um, and then would trigger a binary sensor. So then I could say, okay, this, uh, there is an alarm somewhere in the house. Um, I can now assume that is a smoke detector trigger automations based on that. Um, I un unfortunately I did order that device, but the uh, it just it became unavailable. There wasn't there wasn't anything in stock, and the um, online store said, "Sorry, we're not we don't know if we're getting this product back in stock." Uh, yeah. I would love to know if there are some options around. And I have a, a Nest Protect uh, one Nest Protect smoke alarm, um, which is battery operated, yeah. so it's probably you know within its lifespan it's only got a couple of years left i don't believe google are making battery operated uh nest protect devices anymore or they're not available in australia anymore at least because of regulations i think the new regulations right. around smoke detectors are they have to be wire hardwired in with uh, interconnect wires um between them um if you're replacing them you can unless your house has already got battery operated smoke detectors if you're renovating or building new yeah. they must be hardwired and um yeah interlinked so this is actually pretty timely so my i have two nest protects um and they both expire literally in like i don't know like a month and a half or something like that and one of yep. them actually it's carbon monoxide detector which it, for me is a regulation uh interesting just yeah. stopped working um so, I mean, I can have them separate. I can have them together. It doesn't matter. But uh, I need both CO and CO2 or CO and smoke. Yep. Uh, it's just, yeah. So that, that that's part of our regulation, which is actually a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, so I ordered these ones from uh, First Alert, who, by the way, I found out that Nest has basically given, is licensing out the Nest Protect um functionality to them right so but they had they had a version before that so they have a z-wave version which is pretty cool they've had that for a while uh and then they have a i think it's a wi-fi version but it works with uh home kit and whatnot so i'm like oh that's pretty cool let me get that turns out that's end of sale um i found there rona apparently which is uh so lowe's in canada got uh, sold back to a Canadian company. So it started out as Rona, but got bought by Lowe's, got sold back to whatever, some company. Um, so they had four and I was like, awesome. I need two, two buy done. Turns out they only had one. So they refunded me for one and shipped me one. And I was like, well, this doesn't help me because I, I, I do want kind of that individualized uh, piece there and and i don't necessarily want to run one of them on z-wave one of them on wi-fi like it's, it's just it's it's too much uh too, too complicated for that right so uh now i'm back to the drawing board i think i have to stick with the z-wave one i liked this one better because i think it, the uh home assistant integration gave you a little more fidelity um but you know i think i think i'm my hands are kind of tied here now, so uh, I might have to go get those Z-Wave ones and mm. uh, and do that. But I have looked at the Zen 55 that uh, that Brandon suggested, and that is so you get two, this whatever cheap uh, cheap smoke alarms, and then uh, stick the Zen 55 on there, and basically uh, it can apparently can identify smoke versus CO versus oh, carbon. That's good. Right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a different. It's the same wire, but I think it's a different signal that it sends on there. Yep. So you just basically, um, so you just stick one of them in between one of the two um, devices, or one of the multiple, I guess, and it will uh, intercept that. So that's kind of a cool option. So uh, that's one I'm actually strongly considering right now. That's uh, leading contender. 
along with uh, just getting a Z-Wave uh, smoke alarm. But I think I think I might just do the cheaper smoke alarm, which is N55. Yeah, it's interesting because all the, um, well, at least last time I looked, like all the, you used to be able to buy just a, a Z-Wave smoke alarm because it can, like a whole unit by itself, mm-hmm. battery operated, stick it on the wall. But I, I'm guessing now because the regulation is tightening up, they've just disappeared out of the market down here. I think um, I think they still, I think the first, uh, first alert ones still have the wired ones here. Nice. So it might just be a Australia specific thing. Yeah. Well, plus we've got our frequency that's different, so we don't get as many fun. That's right. Gadgets on yep. that frequency. 